Okay, yeah, here's a, a textbook example of uh, Beaufort Zero here. There is actually no wind right now, uh, or it's not measurable anyway. Yeah, just Beaufort Zero. That mirror finish. So Beaufort Zero is actually zero to one knot, and right now this is actually not registering at all. So. So the uh, the water actually is starting to lose some of its mirror finish. You can see here there's some ripples on the water, and uh, that's you know the telltale of bumping from Beaufort Zero to Beaufort One, where we're now over one knot of wind. The ripples on the water there that are coming towards us are uh, that's the wind effect of that over one knot of wind. So, you can see that here. Yeah, so we're, you know, wow, you look at that. We're even over, uh, there's two and a half knots as that gust is coming towards us. Two knots. Uh, so well into the middle or middle of the range of uh, Beaufort 1. So we were Beaufort 0 and uh, so the thing I want to talk about just for a second is that and this and this happens regardless of the wind speed is the waves aren't really a reliable indicator of the wind speed it's actually the surface of the water that you want to look at. So um, even if the waves are, are, you know, three feet high, it's as the wind drops, the waves will smooth out. The surface of the waves will, will actually get smoother. And it's the same thing here that uh, there really isn't uh, there's just a slight ripple, but it, it's the surface of the water, and you can see it as it's, it's slowly uh, coming towards us here, uh, right now, at just over two knots, uh, two knots, when there's 1 there's 1.8. Um, so that surface of the water, that rippled, we're, when we lose the mirror finish, then we're going into Beaufort 1. Uh, and then there's Beaufort 1 in a gust just you know coming up to uh, you know there's 1.8 1 1.8 1 .8 knots so just you know the glass is Beaufort zero and then with just the first hint of ripples here that we see that's Beaufort one which is one to three knots okay well we're on the road on Juan de Fuca Strait here so we're gonna illustrate wind you know the Beaufort scale so we're we're in uh, Beaufort 1 right now. You'll notice the wind speed is uh, showing 7.2, 7.8, there's 8. But we're actually moving pretty much straight into the wind. So we've got to subtract off the boat speed. That 8.2 that we're seeing, 7.6 is the apparent wind. So we've got to look at our boat speed and uh, see that we're doing about 5.7 knots and uh, 5.7 knots over the ground 
and uh, we're going straight into the wind so we're let's see we're at seven so we're 1.3 knots of true wind so so what do we know here? We we know what the apparent wind is off my my measurement device. We know what the boat velocity is. So then we can calculate what the true wind is. In this case, we're going dead into the wind. We've got a boat speed of 5.7 knots going straight up in this case. We've got apparent wind of 7 knots straight on the nose and by definition, the true wind then is 1.3 knots, which puts us basically into a Beaufort Force 1. You see here, that is exactly what we're seeing here. 1.3 knots. Uh, we got, you know, rippled sea. Uh, the, uh, no, white, no white caps. Areas of uh, you know glass, but ripples, right? So uh, this would be a you know textbook example. A few fingers of wind here and there, you know, coming through. Uh, see, a, you know, there's some slight. The darkness on the water there. Uh, okay, so we are um, we are just into um, Beaufort One is Beaufort Zero is dead calm. Beaufort One is one to three knots. Beaufort Two is three to six, and uh, and um, at about seven knots is when you first start to see the very first white caps. And we're on, uh, we're just on the verge right now of, I did see a couple of white caps here in the gust. So we're at about six knots of wind right now. And uh, when it, when the wind gusts over seven, that's when we, then we form the white cap. So when we get the next gust, we'll, uh, we'll have another look. Okay, well, we're uh, underway here. We're uh, at, uh, we got an apparent wind of uh, 10.5, so we're we're uh, it's reaching right now. <laughs> we're uh, close reaching right now, so we've got we definitely have uh, some wind associated with uh, our feet across the ground so apparent wind of uh, between 10 and 11 and uh, would put the, the true wind at uh, probably uh, you know eight eight or nine so once again uh, we've got the vectors we know that the true wind is equal to the apparent wind vector plus the boat velocity vector and you've got to do this graphically or you can use a program online that's available but so what are we measuring we're measuring the apparent wind with my wind speed monitor of 10.5 knots we know my speed over the ground off the GPS device of 5 knots we can then draw in the arrow for apparent wind which I estimated off of the, uh, the wind indicator gives us 9.8 knots. It's uh, filled in a bit here. We got a uh, you know, apparent wind of 15.6 uh, speed over the ground is about 5 knots. So we're, we're into Beaufort 4. I think we're, uh, you know, we're north of uh, probably uh, north of 11 knots here. And Beaufort 4 is kind of about 11 to or so. So same thing again here. Remembering these are all vectors. The true wind vector is equal to the apparent wind vector plus the boat velocity over the ground. 
we're on a cl we're close halt here so I estimate the apparent wind angle from the arrow on the top of the mast the boat velocity I know from the speed over the ground off the GPS is five knots the apparent wind from my wind speed monitor is fifteen and a half knots but draw this to scale apparent wind and the boat velocity that gives me the true wind at 12 knots. Uh, so yeah, you can see the uh, you know the white caps have uh, kind of filled in a bit here. Uh, I'm looking ahead of us here. Chop uh, is building. Of course, that depends on how long the wind has been blowing, and uh, of course the speed of the wind and then the fetch. And uh, we probably got about eight or ten miles of fetch here. And uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is Beaufort 4, you know, kind of the uh, 11, to, 11 to 16 kind of. So Beaufort 5, the wind actually came up here to 17 to, to 21 knots. There was the odd gust. Uh, stronger than that, you can see the, uh, the white caps have filled in significantly here and um, the chop height has been building so the waves been the wind has been blowing for a while and um, just want to you know really point out here the it's, again what the water looks like the, the, the amount of there's a little bit of spray that uh, is now coming off the tops of these waves a um, little more little you know quite a bit more white water um, so this is just that next level um, Beaufort Force 5 and um, really the uh, just take a look at the water there this is now again the white caps are very filled in and there's a, a lot of white water on the on the surface of the water as the, the white caps have again filled in significantly a little bit of spray and depending on the fetch and depending on how long the wind has been blowing uh, the chop heights can build uh, you know to uh, significant heights um, in even over uh, over five feet